I'm one of the senior citizens of the group, but I do not lose my sense of enthusiasm just because I'm in my 70s. And I feel very, very much that this new, new era, a new set of workers that we now had, we have a new mayor. It's our new mayor is uh, the whole thing is coming up and even in national news. I have a son that lives in California and they've even up on the dates of the status in California about what's going on in Burlington City Hall with their only socialist mayor. So I feel kind of good about that in a way because even people across the country are interested in what's happening in Burlington City Hall. How, how did we end up with a socialist mayor in Burlington? Could you imagine that that would have ever happened when you started out well, in politics? I worked for Community Action for 18 years. I saw about 12 years down the road in my tenure of duty with this Community Action, I saw a need for low-income people and poor people. And poor people felt like that they did not have any place in City Hall. They felt like they weren't wanted. And I validated that on many occasions in my office. They used to come and say, just because we're low income, why do we have to be excluded from the programs in City Hall? And then we heard about what is now Mayor Sanders, and he was running for office of another type in another, you know, in the state. So we got acquainted, and I said, I'll help you. I said, I will help you, because I'm one of the senior citizens. I've just become a senior citizen at that time. And I said, I know the need more than most people around here because they come to our office for help and they express their feelings. So he said, that's good. He said, you can help me. And he told me what his, what his plans were and that he felt very strongly about trying to help all of the people, including the low-income people. And for the first time in history, and I've been around these old parts for a good many years, for the first time, Poor people, low-income people in the city of Burlington could feel freely that they could be a part of Burlington City Hall. It never was like that before. If you didn't have a lot of prestige and a lot of money and live in a big, nice house up on the hill, you was not considered part of the network. So after a while, he became mayor. Then the people knew that they could come down here and feel like they're a part as a low-income person and really feel like they was welcome here. And I think that that part of the program was very important, and I still think so. Do you, were you here at Organization Day in 1981 when Bernie became mayor? Yes, I was. Can you tell us what that was like? Do you remember? Well. To make a long story short, it was a new era and a new transition period and a new feeling among low-income people, especially senior citizens. I go to a senior citizen, I belong to a couple of senior citizen groups here in Burlington and they came to us that day and said, are you going to City Hall tonight? We're all going, are you going? And I said, I wouldn't miss it. So from that day forward, I saw for the first time the consensus of opinions among my fellow friends, which I have many in this city. And being a native Vermonter, a lot of people ask us a lot of questions. They say, what is it like, what was it like, and what do we hope to achieve? And that night, we had a very large group from one of our local senior citizen clubs. 
and they had never been here before. They lived here for all their lives, and they'd never been here before. And that night, they came out of the woodwork because they went away with a feeling. We, at last, can find and feel that we're a part of the program. And I think with this new man, uh, I know who Peter is because I work for uh, his brother at, at the constable department, David Clavel. I think he has a lot of work to do. He, first of all, being from Vermont and being from Winooski and being from uh, the area, his birthplace and his heritage has a lot to do with how he achieves. You know, native-born Vermonters are a very special set of people. They want to feel wanted. And if they can't feel wanted, I interview people all the time down there. There are senior citizens that go to Montpelier. I'm a lo I lobby in Montpelier. They have to feel wanted. And if they're not feel wanted, they feel destroyed. Now, if we can achieve the same types of things in our new era, we're starting out all fresh, we'll have a very great success in, in the City Hall. We are watched nationwide. There's other states that's watching how we achieve things and how we work with our programs and things. And they are watching how we do it. I was in Seattle last June. I was interviewed by several sets of people in Seattle, Washington. I watch the newspaper all the time. And they, uh, they of course, I, used, I lived in Seattle for 12 years, so I know a few people. And being a member of the National Council on Aging, I see some more people. I was interviewed and they asked me all kinds of questions about how do we feel? Do we feel really welcome in our local city hall? I said, for the very first time that I can remember, that is the case. That's great, Blanche. Thanks. We're going to have to go interview some other people, but I appreciate it. I also appreciate all the work that you've done. Yeah, well, I've been here for a long time. I'm what they call an old fixture. <laughs>